Hello guys, Matt here, and thank you for coming to LiveWire to get your gaming news. Today we are looking at one of the channel's main series, For Honor. And as much as I would love to talk about all the testing information, unfortunately we're not allowed to. So instead we are going to look at another one of the weapons from the Tales of Weapons series, from the For Honor website. This time focusing on Durindal, the sharpest blade in all existence. This is one of the weapons that the devs used as inspiration for the Knights Faction's weaponry, and could potentially be used as a legendary weapon which they could implement into the game. And all of that is coming up straight after this. Okay then, so one of the goals of the community content team is to connect us players to the For Honor universe, via the many real world artifacts. In this Tales of Weapons series of articles, we will explore legendary weapons, that are either historical or mythological, which inspired the dev team's creation of the weapons wielded by the knights in this instance. And guys, if you missed it you can click here to check out the Viking Legendary Weapon video, which explains the sword known as Ulfbert. Now when thinking about the mythological weapons linked to the knights' warrior culture and fantasy, Durindal is one of the first names that come to mind. Durindal is a French sword known in the literature to be the sharpest sword in all existence. It is heavily featured in the epic poem, The Song of Roland, one of the oldest and most popular pieces of French literature, written somewhere between the 11th and 12th century. The novel contains 4,000 lines of poetry, telling the story of the Battle of Roncevaux. Let's hope that I pronounced that right. So that happened in 778 AD, during the reign of Charlemagne, who was King of the Franks. Roland was Charlemagne's chief paladin leading the troops defending the Frank frontiers against the Bretons. Although Charlemagne's sword, Joyous, is another known mythical weapon, it is usually overshadowed by his paladin's blade. Roland is one of the most popular knights in medieval European literature, a great leader known for his Olofanton, his trustworthy horse Velantif, and of course his unbreakable sword Durindal. Now according to the myth, Durindal was forged by Wayland the Smith, a prolific Norse blacksmith known for his malicious will, but also his usage of magical elements in his craft. He is also known for apparently crafting Excalibur, King Arthur's magical sword, and wouldn't Excalibur be a great knight's weapon as well? Durandal is said to contain some sacred Christian relics, a tooth of Saint Peter, the blood of Saint Basil, the hair of Saint Denis, and a piece of raiment of the Virgin Mary. Other stories tell that Durandal was brought to Charlemagne by an angel. Others say that it once belonged to Hector of Troy. According to the Song of Roland, the paladin used Durindal to fight an army of more than 100,000 Saracens, so Charlemagne could retreat in France with his army. At some point, Roland attempted to destroy Durindal to make sure it wouldn't end up in the hands of the enemy. By trying to break it in the rocks, it actually created a 100 meter tall gap in the Pyrenees, now known as Roland's Breach. Another story, the most interesting one, tells that he threw Durindal into the air to get rid of it, and it magically landed and embedded itself in the stone of the town of Rocamadour in France. There actually is a sword embedded in the rocks in that town and many people think it is the real Durindal, thrown by Roland many centuries ago. So this sword is clearly fantastical and its story is bathed in mythology. It would make for a great legendary weapon in For Honor because of the mythos behind it. I find the story of the sword extremely interesting and anyone who loves the stories of mythic knights like me would absolutely love to wield such a weapon for themselves. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this tale of the knight's legendary sword that we speculate will make it into the game at some stage. Perhaps these legendary weapons will make it into the campaign for example, therefore I'm not creating a power imbalance online. Each of our heroes could look for their legendary weapons separately in their fight to bring down Apollyon's tyranny. That would be really cool. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, it helps us out a great deal. And if you would consider subscribing to get all the latest Fauna news, that we are actually allowed to cover, <clears throat> then that would be really appreciated too. You can click on our faces to get to know myself and the other guys a little better. Likewise, if you clicked on our Let's Play playlists, they're really funny, trust me. If you are looking for more gaming news, then click here for our entire Fauna news playlist, or click here for the latest Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands news. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.